On the morning of Thursday, July 4th, Greasy Creek Volunteer Fire Department responded to a fire at the Greasy Creek Community Center. The fire began just after 4.30 a.m. and the building was completely engulfed in flames by the time first responders arrived. Greasy Creek Fire Chief Robert Kendrick tells us more about the situation. The building was fully engulfed. The roof had already collapsed um, on the right-hand side of the building it had collapsed. Um, the heat from the building was so intense, we, we had a hard time getting the gate open as far away as the gate was from the building. It was so hot, we couldn't hardly get to the locks. Um, once we got in and got set up, we started uh, putting water on the fire, but as in all small communities, water is a problem. Um, having water supplies handy. So we asked Millard Fire Department to come out and respond with us to splice with water and manpower. Um, and together we we worked on the fire till, I think it was around noon when I finally got cleared the scene. It's Christmas in July at Appalachian Wireless, so deck the halls with forward pay. $75 off select forward pay devices while supplies last. With plans starting at only $19.99. Forward pay, because we are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. Merry Christmas in July. Area residents have felt the impact of losing their community center, which was in constant use for various events. They are hopeful that a new, better building can replace what was lost. You know, everybody's devastated by it because it's probably one of the most used community centers in the county. It's it's. It's every day. It's somebody's got it booked. There's actually supposed to be a wedding there tomorrow. Um, that had to be, you know, rescheduled for elsewhere, obviously. But but it's a highly used um, community center, and uh, it's really going to impact the community hard um, as far as events and and whatnot. So we just have to wait and see. You know, hopefully the county can build back. Uh, build a bigger, better community center and, and help everybody out through that way. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Nick Collum.